All right, Jeff's got one in here. I've been suffering from nerve damage on my face, cause of shingles. Should I wait it out? Uh, um, you're always good to address your symptomatology, but ask the question, why do I have shingles? And it's uh, pretty common to see, but I would certainly do a neural zoomer plus uh, that Michelle talked about earlier right now, because the herpes virus is one of those viruses that gets in your brain. And if you've already got antibodies to um, uh, herpes in your brain, if it's elevated, then you'll realize you have to do a deep dive and address this in your life right now, because elevated antibodies in your brain are killing off brain cells. And that is the mechanism of dementia, is that we're killing off brain cells for 20 years before we have any noticeable um, evidence of uh, cognitive decline. Michelle, do you wanna talk about that for a minute? I'm gonna show a slide here but it'll take me a minute to find it uh, so that people can go away with this information. Sure. Yeah, I completely agree. And NeuralZoomer Plus, I, a really extensive viral panel, they're very pricey, but you want to just see what the viral load is in your body. And then I've seen some really great results with homeopathics that are specifically for cytomegalovirus or um, herpes simplex two or one, they kind of target and they're very gentle, but effective. We got to stay the course. It can take seven or eight months of daily treatment with these to, um, allow your body to release that viral load completely. But at the same time, you want to be diving down and seeing what else is going on because I often see viral load, um, regulate and normalize once some of the other foundational issues that are going on with somebody's health have been resolved. So um, wow. yeah, it's miserable though. I have yeah. um, somebody close to me that's suffering from shingles often. So this comes from Health and Human Services. This was their advisory council last year. This is their summary about addressing the cognitive decline that ends with Alzheimer's. And first they talk about, you know, we have a normal level of antibodies to our brain. And the same concept's true for your heart or your liver or your thyroid or all of our tissue. You have a normal level of antibodies. Why? Because you gotta get rid of the old and damaged brain cells to make room for new cells. Because every cell in your body regenerates except your teeth you have an entire new body every seven years. And how does it happen? You gotta get rid of the old and damaged cells and brain antibodies or antibodies to the cell are one of the mechanisms to get them out of there. That's why when you do a blood test, there's a normal reference range of antibodies to your brain or to your thyroid or to your adrenals or to your bones. There's a normal level. But when you have elevated antibodies, you're killing off more cells than you're making. And that ain't good. So we have a normal level of antibodies first. Then because of our lifestyles and the things that we're exposed to, we create inflammation in our bodies and we get elevated levels of antibodies from the air we're breathing, from the food we're eating. But you, still, you see here where it says it's non-symptomatic. You can't tell this is going on. And this is going on for, look at the length of time this is going on for. You're killing off brain cells. That's why this test, the Neural Zoomer Plus, is so important because you find out right now, oh no, this is not good. And you're gonna be worried. And it'll be the kick in the pants to do what you have to do to figure out why am I killing off brain cells? And you'll read my book, You Can Fix Your Brain. And you'll take our Brain Masterclass and you'll, 84 videos or 87 videos in the Brain Masterclass on each little point about where does all this inflammation come from and how do you get it out of there? We'll put the link here. You've already got the link for the Neural Zoomer. We'll put the link there for the Brain Masterclass. What happens next? So in this prodromal stage that goes on for 20 years, but then it moves on. Now you've got mild cognitive impairment. Where did I park my car. I thought I parked it in this aisle in the shopping center or where's my keys 
or whatever it should be. And you joke with your friends, you know, I'm getting old. I'm not remembering the way I used to, ha ha. It ain't funny, excuse me. And this goes on for, how long does this go on? Take a look, what, what does it say? The average is seven years. This is from Health and Human Services. They, they're trying to put the big picture together so doctors understand where this whole thing comes from and why when you're diagnosed with Alzheimer's, there's never going to be a drug that's going to fix that because you've killed off so much of your brain by that point, there's no brain left to keep functioning. But after seven years, now you go to mild Alzheimer's. Now you've got reading problems and object recognition and poor direction sense. And then it goes to the moderate and then it goes to the severe. And so this whole mechanism is going on. You, you, have, you have a viral infection right now and it's, it's giving you shingles. You do the NeuroZoomer Plus and you find out what is it that's going on for me right now in my brain. Because this, this may be a blessing for you to have this, these symptoms right now. And for the symptoms, you can go online and you can um, look up DMSO, David Michael Sam Oxford, DMSO. And just read about DMSO and all the people that talk about how they use it for uh, different types of pain and lots of testimonials on it. I've used it with this, your particular type of symptoms in the past and it works wonders. So just go there to learn more uh, uh, on how to uh, mix it. You have to use distilled water to mix it and grind up a little aspirin maybe and then mix it with the DMSO and put it on there. It's, it's, real, it's, it's effective. So deal with the short-term symptoms, but deal with the long-term potential problem. Get wise about it now. And with that, you know, we're, uh, we've gone over a bit. Uh, Michelle, um, uh, any last messaging you want to say? No, that was excellent. I think it's just really empowering to get, it's mindset. It's all about mindset, right? And it's so empowering to, um, is it, is something stuck? Can nope. you hear me? Nope. Okay. Um, I felt like it was empowering to get my NeuroZoomer Plus back, even though I had some elevated antibodies. And so many people tell me I'm terrified to get those results back. But you've taught me <laughs> that it takes decades um, and decades of damaging the brain before you get symptoms and then um, you eventually get diagnosed, right? So find out now when you can prevent it and turn it around. Just look at it as such an empowering thing to see where the weak links are. If there's a bunch of things out of range in the uh, viral bacteria infection category, if there's a lot out of range in the blood brain barrier permeability in the auto brain autoimmune, then you're able to target and really focus on that area to work on. So just look at it as like, this is amazing information to protect the health of my brain long-term. Focus on what's going on right now and turn this around. Fully arrest, agree. At least we can arrest the development of disease, right? The research yes. says that. Yes, yes, fully agree. My first brain, the Neural Zoomer Plus, I think, I don't, I don't remember, it was 12, maybe something like that, that were positive. What? Out of 48, I had 12 different markers of inflammation in my brain. Well, my follow-up one a year and a half later, zero. You know, so when we talk to you that you can arrest this, you can. And sometimes it's gonna take you a year, a year and a half, two years, but you're on the path and you're saving the rest of your life. With Read my book, you can fix your brain. It's also audio. Uh, I did the audio for that book. Uh, hardest thing I've ever done in my life, but it's really, it's good. I, I know it's really good. Uh, get a lot of positive feedback on it, uh, but address this. Um, uh, hopefully that we motivate you to take the first step forward um, in better care for yourself.